Beijing, the capital of China, a place where old China meets new China. This city dates back over three millennia, and it's the nation's political and cultural hub. At the centre of this ancient metropolis is the Forbidden City. The complex consists of over 980 buildings and served as the imperial palace for two dynasties. The general public were barred from entering this walled city for over 500 years. Nowadays, you can roam around the palace as much as you like and feel like an emperor. Leave the Forbidden City and suddenly you're back in the hustle and bustle of modern day Beijing. Tiananmen Square is seen as the centre of the modern Chinese universe. Mao ordered the construction of the square in order to project the mass size of the Communist Party. There were times during the Cultural Revolution where up to a million people paraded through the square. Something which you should almost certainly not miss out on is a visit to some of the beautiful parks in Beijing. I went to visit the Summer Palace. This is the largest and most well-preserved royal park in China. Exploring the palace gardens gives you some breathtaking views of the rest of Beijing, as the palace is located on a hill. Food is a big element of any trip to China, especially in Beijing. A walk down Wang Fajing Street will give you an insight into both modern and ancient Chinese traditional foods. The first thing I'm going to be trying is silk worms. So they're crunchy, that's going to be So juicy, nice and juicy. They remind me a bit of dates. Next thing I'm trying is a scorpion. Apparently when the taste is deep fried, um, the sting is taken out, so let's try it. These are a bit like chips. Scorpion's good. Beijing is an incredible city. One where I learned about both the past and future of China. Time lapse. Yeah. Time lapse. So his son carrying up and down. I don't know.